NBA 2K20 tutorial number 3. Today we're gonna have a fundamentals dribble tutorial to help all of us understand the new game mechanics better. This is because dribbling is a lot different from 19 this year, so allow me to help you rewire your stick skills so you'll find ankle breaking success in 2K20. And also if you like my tutorials and you want to see more, make sure you click on the link above for my all tutorial playlist because this is the fundamental dribble tutorial. So if you click on the link above in the future, you'll see more advanced dribbling tutorials that I am guaranteed to do for you. So with the correct dribble moves this year and executions, you can really get to and through all three levels of defense with just dribbling alone. And that's different from previous years. So once you really understand the concept and what to look for, you can be very effective even with the most basic dribble moves this year because of all the powerful stop and go mechanics. So what you need to understand conceptually is that dribble penetration this year is about three things. You have to first set up and then you break down and then you seal to finish. So you need to learn the basic dribble moves that gets you to those results in that succession. So you need to use specific moves to set up the defender and then you use another set of specific moves to break him and then you use more moves to pin him off so he can contest your shot. But those things have to happen in that, su that succession, that order of events, right? So here I'm using Van Fleet against Russell, very good practice. I suggest you do this in the 2KU mode. So here comes the setup that I'm about to do and you can see I set him up there and then following the setup, after comes the breakdown so and you can see me break him off there and then I blow by him and then I end the sequence with a sealed finish. That is very successful ISO in this year's game and that's how you have to do it right? So specific dribble moves at the right times will get you the results you need like those you see there. So to set up that's the first one you're gonna use size up combos and then following that to break you need to use hesitation escape and to finish you need to use crossovers, euros, and crabbing to seal off the defender. So let's take a look at how to do all of that in detail. So here again, Van Fleet versus Russell. So you set up the defender by doing a size up combo. And, to, and you can see me carry off a size up combo there. And to do so, it's very simple. All you have to do is perform a standing dribble moves in rapid successions to trigger special signature size up combos. And standing dribble moves simply just means you flick the right stick two to three times while holding nothing else. You're just standing there flicking the right stick. So you come to a full stop, flick the right stick, and you can see they're flicking a left, right, down, bottom, doesn't matter. Here I decided to flick left and then right. So two moves, and there's my setup dribble move, my size up combo. And with the ball in the air like this, it means you can end the size up and chain it to something else. And you always want to make sure if you're chaining out of moves, make sure the ball is where you see it there. It's above the ball handler's hip, right? And then from here, after the size up combo, the setup, you break down the defender by chaining in a momentum escape. And you will see me do a momentum escape here with Van Fleet. And after I did that, I created an angle. And what I did there is a behind the back wrap escape. You can do a whole bunch of hesitation escapes. So if you look at the dribbling control side, you can see the cross hesitation escape, a regular hesitation escape. All of these escapes, quote unquote, will work. It's just I like to do the behind the back wrap escape. I think it's very effective this year. And to do so, all you have to do is hold turbo or R2 and move the right stick down and then quickly release while stand dribbling. So you flick the right stick down while holding turbo. And this works very well with your setup move because we do a size up as a setup, and size up is stand dribbling. So from that, you can actually chain very well and do a behind the back escape. So just hold turbo and flick the right stick down and just let it go. So you see me do that right here, behind the back escape, and I have created, like the wrap escape here, created an angle to get by Russell, right? So now in order to fully break the defender, what I have to do next is speed boost by him. And to do a speed boost, just but make sure though, every time you chain every move, because now we're chaining a behind the back wrap escape into a speed boost, right? So you have to chain the move or do the next move while the ball is above the handler's hip. So you can see Van Fleet, the ball is above his hip. So this is a good opportunity for me to chain in a speed boost. So to do a speed boost, all you have to do is continue to hold turbo because you were holding turbo from the rapid escape already, right? And you've already let go of right stick because you're flicking it. So continue holding turbo. After that right stick finish, push the left stick at the basket while the ball is on hip level. So that's how you chain it. So push the right stick at the basket, continue to hold on turbo. And you can see me speed boost by Russell there off the angle I have created of the behind the back rapid escape. 
And at this point, what I have to do is a CO finish. And in this case, I did a Euro. Now you can do a whole bunch of different moves to CO. I'll explain those later. But what you need to understand is after you blow by the defender and you're gonna do a CO move to pin them off so you can finish, any CO move you do, it doesn't matter Euro or the later ones I'm gonna show you, you have to let go of turbo while you're doing any type of CO move to finish. But you still have to push the left stick at the basket. But at this juncture, you must let go of turbo. Okay? So you see me. So I've let go of turbo here. And then I do a euro. And you see the euro move pushed me forward. And it sealed off Russell. So now I have nothing in between me and the basket. He's behind me. And I'm going to finish it up. That's the sequence of events. That's what you're going to practice and work on. These are very basic dribble moves. But there was a key. And you can do different size up escapes and seals to get similar results. So I'm going to show you me doing different ones in all those order of events. So here you can just see me doing different size up combos, whatever I want to do. I'm just setting them up. I'm just showing you there. But then I do an escape behind the back this time. Now, but this time I draw right at the help defender. Plus I'm too far to use a Euro to seal, right? So what I do instead was I'm going to let go of turbo because I'm still sealing, but I'm gonna continue to angle the left stick to the basket, but I'm letting go of turbo. But this, this time I'm using a cross over the seal. So I will flick the right stick from right to left to cross away from the help defender, plus seal off Russell. You can see right there, I let go of turbo, flick the right stick from ball hand to non ball hand, in this instance, right to left, get away from help, seal off Russell, finish the layup. Same model of events, different move, same results. Here is again, that's the size of combo to set up. That's the hesitation escape. Now, I don't want to drive at help this time with my speed boosting, so I'm gonna push the left stick to the left, still with turbo, while the ball's on my hip, to do a speed boot hesitation cross. You can see right there, that's a speed boot hesitation cross out of the escape, and then I just use a little euro to finish it strong by pinning Russell on my back. Size of combo to set up, hesitation escape to create an angle, speed boost by Russell, let go of turbo, I didn't cross this time because the angle was wide enough, so I simply let go of turbo and tap LT while I was still pushing the left stick at the basket. So once you have pushed the left stick at the basket during the speed boost, do not let go. Just keep angling it to the basket as you're going away from the defense. I tap LT here as I let go of turbo, and this gives me a stutter step as a seal. So you can see me stutter step, seal off D'Angelo Russell, still finish it up. Keep putting him on my back, right? So. Size up combo to set up, hesitation is to get by, speed boost left stick, let go of turbo. And then this time I decided to uh, did a right stick crossover, so left to right this time to seal off the defender. And then I also held L2 after the cross to crab him. So see, cross, hold L2 to crab him, still pushing the left stick at the basket, finish up with the layup. Another good, same sequence of events but different moves. So remember, set up, create the breakdown, seal the finish, cross, crab, layup finish. Nothing they can do about that. Same thing here again. Size of combo to set up. Hesitation escape to get away. Speed boost of the left stick. Let go. Seal the defender with a cross. Layup. So try to pull off this series of basic moves as practice. These are very, very beginner basic moves, but it helps you get the concept of what you have to do correctly this year to get by with dribble moves with, you know, no screen, essentially an ISO. So this time I did a hesitation escape to the right by holding the turbo and flicking the right stick to the left. And then I see reaches. I'm gonna use a rap escape to get away from him. So that's hold turbo and flick the right stick down. And then as I get by him, I'm gonna speed boost. So hold, keep holding on the turbo, push the left stick at the basket. That will give me the speed boost away from him on the angle I created. Let go of turbo now because I'm planning to seal him, but keep angling the left stick to the basket. Let go of turbo and hold LT to crap and seal the defender. Push left stick at the basket still. And then I decided to do a Euro layup by pushing and holding the right stick diagonally away from the ball, throw up the help defense, finish between two defenders, score the basket. All right, now those are isolation incidents in practice, but you can do it in a game if you want. So this is a scrimmage. I'm doing the same exact moves and I was able to finish it up. So when you're in the scrimmage, just come to a full stop, do your setup, do your size of combo, do the hesitation escape, do the seal, time your layups and you finish. Now, obviously you don't want to do this all game. I mean, you could, but you're still driving at help defense, it's not very efficient. Eventually, you're gonna have to end up passing the ball, but the moves will get you by, will help you bite help, then you just need the passing vision to make the right passes. But could you get isolation 
basket out of his shirt, like what I did there, especially on the catch and go. So this is pretty much a very transitional attack. It's just the setup dribble move is great because you're doing a size up combo, so that brings you to a full stop, which gives you the boost, and then the hesitation escape, having the sense to CO, pin off the defender, forces help to come over, and then make the pass. If help don't come, take the layup. But in in a full scrimmage context, 5v5, help is gonna come. So size up combo to set up, come to a stop, hesitation escape to get away, and go speed boost, seal the defender, force help to come in, find the open guy. And if there's no open guy, you're probably open. So come to a full stop, set up dribble, hesitation escape, blow by, seal, find the right man, force help defenders to come over. Very basic moves, very simple setting because it's 2KU, but you need to be able to do this on Q at high efficiency if you want to do any other advanced move. This is as basic as it gets, but you need these moves down because you need to understand the concept. It's about stopping, set up, hesitation escape, get by, seal, make the right read. If it's a pass, it's a pass. If it's a dunk, it's a dunk. If it's a pull up free, it's a pull up free. But you make the right read. Watch, stop, set up, seal, hesitation escape, get by, finish. That was the right thing to do, right? That. So if you have to finish, finish. If you have to have pass, pass. But don't predetermine your stuff. So make sure you get these moved down. Make sure you get the size of chains down. That will help you with the setup combo. Standing, come to a standstill. Get your escapes down, your hesitation escapes, your cross hesitation escape, behind the back grab escape. This is the move you need to create a wide enough angle to get by and then learn all the seals and you'll be good. So that's what I wanted to teach you guys in terms of a basic, basic dribbling tutorial. It's very important to understand these moves, especially this year. This is largely because the dribbling is a lot different. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but what I have noticed is you get a lot of speed boosting and momentum of stopping and going this year. Like previously, stopping and going in 2K19 feels kind of clunky. If anything, you don't really want to stop. Like stopping kind of messes you up. You just pretty much want to turbo and just get by the guy and not get bumped. But this year, it feels like stopping and going is very powerful, especially after you set up your defender. Like there are windows of opening on the defense that triggers both blow buys after you come to a stop and you set the guy up. That's what I'm trying to teach you with this basic move, just helping you rewire your dribble game so you're trying, so you understand and you see for yourself how effective stopping, set up, and then attacking the open angles are to create blow buys. Once you get that, these basic moves now, we can move on to the more advanced elements as obviously we get the game and we don't have to be stuck in 2KU. But at this juncture of the game with 2KU available, this is excellent. Get this concepts down. Stopping and going, set up, create the angles, then blow by. Do not try to hold turbo all the time and blow by everybody. It doesn't work that way. You have to create the angle, stop and go, stop and go, create angle, and then hit them with the blow by, and then let go of turbo and seal the finish. All right? As always, thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Add me a like if you did. As always, leave a comment. You know I love reading them. I will see all of you again very soon.